All right, so so we got her cleaned up. Like I said, back in December when I had it serviced, um, had the bottom paint redone. We had it waxed, so the wax is holding up really good. It's only a couple months old, so she washed up really nice. All the pollen that we've been having knocked right off. Whole sides were waxed. Uh, some stuff as we go down the boat that I know is going to need to be fixed is those windlass switches at the bow. Stopped working a couple of months ago. Well, last time I used the boat was probably this past summer. Uh, windlass works at the dash, but not on those remote switches anymore. Coming down that front Isinglass and canvas it was all new in December 2017. Uh, I need to put a new windshield wiper on it. And down to the side, fresh water fill. I did fill the tank. Uh, I have this panel of canvas removed uh, just so I can get on and off the boat a little bit easier. It's right over there, but you can see it on the other side. And that's probably the biggest uh, pieces that need to be replaced are those along the side here. Uh, the Isinglass is just taking a beating from the sun and started to crack on the starboard side. Port side still looks decent. Um, Raytheon radar, not sure if it works. Um, I'm getting signal. Um, I just don't know 100% how to work that old old stuff. Uh, canvas back here, uh, starting to shrink a little bit. It still seems to be in decent shape, but it's, it is starting to shrink, so the connections are getting harder and harder to make. But normally when we're using the boat, uh, I remove this whole aft canvas and just kind of fold up that rear bow uh, and expose the whole cockpit area here and then leave that little buggy top on in the front because we can roll those windows up. Uh, back on the aft of the boat is where the shore power goes in. Uh, two 30 amp connections in there. Uh, we have a single 50 amp and it splits inside the back uh, fuel fill for starboard tank and there's one on port side as well get down into the boat real quick for you um cushions are in really good shape from being under canvas for so long so you can see i mean they're just getting a little bit of staining on them but for the most part they clean up really nice and then that's just this folds up with the uh engine hatch that's the table it stows under there uh you can the pole uh, is under the seat i'm sitting on now but it goes there so you can use this as a, a picnic area this is just you know basic storage life jackets stuff like that uh there's more storage in here dock lines pole for the table that kind of stuff again seats in good condition still feeling nice and supple but you can still see through the eyes and glass again it's just getting getting a little old you see some of the pieces that we use more often are starting to, to develop little teeny fractures in it uh and then on the transom the swim platform fold out swim ladder oh, come on and then we have a single 30 amp in there in case they don't have 50 amp service that's where it splits uh, tv all that good stuff uh city water connection um is i believe down there and then you have a bib here for a hose you have a shower over here um that connection is for the freshwater engine flush that is the only system on the boat that i did not fix that uh was deteriorated with the hoses uh, there's the shower i did fix this whole freshwater plumbing system um it was leaking in a couple of spots there's the port side fuel fill Let's see if we can get a good shot down this side but everything cleaned up nice uh, garbage here freshwater sink i don't think i have the pump on i'll go turn that on in a second uh, this used to be a dc fridge that uh was not there when i got the boat so i just use it for storage flares cleaning materials that kind of stuff uh, as far as the vinyl this is the worst part of it here on this cushion it looks like it's been repaired before and it's this is what gets the most sun um is through these front windows uh, as far as the helm area I think I mentioned to you the gauges uh, are getting some fogging on them. A uh, whole gauge package to replace all this stuff, I think is three or four hundred dollars. Um, so it's not terrible, terrible. And then down here, all of your switches, uh, depth, that's working. Uh, it's and the Garmin unit is uh, a current generation 7610. Actually, uh, they just updated this unit this year. It was five years old or something like that. But the unit's been here for about two and a half, three years, but it is a current generation. Uh, GPS chart plotter, full function. Uh, you can hook up a new radar to it. It'll recognize it right away. Um, I don't have a transducer hooked to this one, so it's only going to show navigational stuff. Um, this is the Raytheon, and I'm pretty sure it powers up, but like I said, I've never used it. Um, I did put a new VHF in it as well. Uh, that works fine. 
trim tabs down there. They work tilt hydraulic steering. The previous owner just put that on. Um, engines. Throttle, shifters, everything works nice. Let's see if we can get this engine hatch up for you. Take a listen. You can see the eyes and glass up here is nice and fresh, easy to see through. Everything unzips, folds up, all that good stuff. So engine compartment's pretty clean. There's your holding tank there. 8.1 horizons, uh, fresh water cooled on the engine. Um, manifolds and risers, like I said, I have them inspected every year when I do the service. Um, and the technician says we should be able to hopefully get away with at least another season. Because um, the build stays fairly dry. The Westerby generator over there, um, I don't know how many hours are on that. I think he checked it at the service and it's on the gauge right on the corner there. I'll try to get that off there for you. but. Uh, fresh filters, everything just done. I think I only have about three or four hours on it since the service was performed. Um, there's that new C-Star steering system down there, hydraulic rudder control. Um, new batteries in 2016, I believe. And then there's a battery charger, the guest charger, I think, right there. Everyone works fine with that. And I don't know if you can see the fresh water hose that I was talking about with that clear hose right there next to the holding tank on top of the blue line is the engine flush and then there's a one-way check valve right there that should go into the engines and I just wasn't familiar enough with the system to fix it so see everything runs nice and quiet go down in the cabin real quick and then down in here did a little cleaning this morning, just getting it picked up for you, take the video. Um, all of the DC lights, there's a blue rope light back there underneath the mirror lights there. All the hatches, uh, port side windows. What I was talking about as far as the interior being a little bit dated is these cushions over here showing little signs of wear. Uh, you can see on that one, it just looks like from people using it. Um, closet space. Not a ton of room, but decent for a week. And the curtains are looking a little dated. You know, again, just from wear and tear and use and all that good stuff. And then another, that's the filler cushion for the bed that pulls out here. So you can fill that up nice. Again, closet space, little seating area here. Air conditions under the bed. Um, that's the intake for it there. So you got more storage, linen, something like that. And like I said, the AC is in that compartment right there. That it got replaced uh, last summer, I believe, August, September. So it's working good now. Uh, got it set. I think it's like 62 is the low setting. But it should pop on here in a second, hopefully, unless it's colder than that right now, which it could be. There we go. Uh, garbage down here. Uh, stove is underneath this cabinet got heavy one uh the and the only complaint i have in the kitchen here is it looks like it had uh, probably taken moisture on from this hatch or something at one point or another i mean everything's still pretty clean and the fit and finish is nice but you can see that this uh veneer here could use a little bit of refreshing a little bit of work i mean it's not horrible and i've dealt with it the whole time i've owned it and uh Hasn't been too terribly bad. Uh, more storage here. Showed you that. We have one here. I uh, bought the light and stuff that needs to be replaced on the navigational lights. I've just never used it after sundown or before dusk. Uh, microwave works fine. Tested it out not too long ago. Uh, da -da -da. And then this is your panel. So we're on shore power on both legs now. Getting plenty of power all of your ac systems are on here microwave outlets that's all your lights as well water heater i never tested the water heater either so i'm not 100 percent sure if that works or not stove there's your air conditioner uh jenny start and run bilge blowers uh, 
and then all your DC systems are here, water level. I just filled it up. We'll go ahead and turn on the fresh water pump. Uh, fridge works good, and it's the cabin fridge here. Uh, doesn't smell, gets nice and cold. I think it even makes ice. Uh, head system, uh, it does work. I don't know if the discharge works. I've only pumped it out before. Um, power vents is just the uh, vent here. To pull air out of here. Uh, accessory, I'm not sure what that does. And then of course your ignition system is here with keys so you can take those. Um, and then again, I'm not 100% sure if the uh, discharge pump works, but you can always test it, it powers up at least. And then when you're running on Jenny, you can swap these over on generator on the two legs. So nice cold air coming out, uh, has reverse cycle heat, more storage, TV comes out, more storage under here. Oh, what else, sink, we'll test the fresh water, works good. Uh, chores, this is about the only sign that I've seen of uh, any kind of real water damage or not even damage, just not looking appealing is in these here. And I don't know if it's from, you know, somebody spilling stuff and it leaking down the cabinet or what, but it gets progressively better as you move down. Again, that pulls out into a bed, more storage here. Uh, port side lights, more vents there. In case you, it's a nice day out, your stereo right here. Those came with the boat, so I'll pass those along as well. And then stereo works. You can uh, do it just in the cockpit out there or just in the cabin, depending on when you're entertaining. And then these are the light switches here for the cabin. And then you can see the blue light there. Turn it off. Um, uh, all this center cushion pulls straight out this way. And then uh, those filler cushions go on top of it to make this into a total sleeping area with a curtain here as well for a little bit of privacy. A little bit more storage down here. A little more storage in there. Another closet. It's actually a decent sized closet there. Um, one of the biggest things I'm disappointed with is I tried cleaning the carpet here and uh, used a yellow rag. And of course it transmitted some of the yellow. So I'm trying to get that up. Uh, it does have some snapping carpet there. Uh, there's some accesses to some more storage down below this um i did put a power dryer in here just to keep things nice and dry uh head system uh shower kind of wet head deal so you can shower in here if you wanted to uh head blower has ac vent in here so you can get some ac in there little storage compartment lights Toilet. Fresh water works. So the vacuum flush works well. More storage down here. Fresh water system outlets. Um, if you have anything else specifically you want to take a look at or for me to focus on, I'd be glad to get back to the boat at some time or another and, and do that for you. Uh, more storage down there. Uh, onboard vacuum does work. More storage underneath there. All kinds of little places to, to stick stuff. But um, again, if you need any pictures or a uh, better video or something, just uh, give me a call, shoot me a text, and I'll try to make it out of the boat again in the near future and touch those things up for you. But all in all, like I said, it's a, uh, you know, I'd say seven, eight out of ten in total for especially the um, age of the boat i mean it's structurally sound no real fiberglass cracks or anything oh i think i did mention uh the damage that we took in the hurricane a couple of years ago that we had fixed get this hatch down so i can go show you that real quick just had that hatch motor replaced as well oh that uh, windshield vent motor stopped working um it was working last time I was on the boat. It didn't work today, so. <clears throat> What's going on there? But this is the only section that I've ever seen damaged that we had to repair. And uh, it was kind of in this area here. And you can see that my fiberglass guy didn't do a good job of recalking the seam there. But we had to repair a little bit of this. You can still see a few little air pockets. But it was all up above the rubber, nothing structural. And my fiberglass guy did really good work overall. Uh, waste pump out there. So hopefully this will help you out and then maybe we can get you down here 
up here, whichever way.